Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Hollywood Shono here, about to give you another Injustice Gods Among Us video. In this video, we're about to do the Red Sun Green Lantern Challenge Battle 3 on standard difficulty. One challenge currency, two energy per fight, and only bronze or silver characters are allowed on your team. So in the matchup is level 1 silver Insurgency Harley Quinn, Sheik Ahmed Habibi, and Regime Sinese Bro. Let's give the match is 5,000 credits. So we got Harley Quinn starting off. Bane knocks her out in three shots. Sinestro comes in next. Barely survives four hits. Bane's at one bar. So we're going to go up a Rage Slam on Black Adam and wipe him out for the victory in the first fight. 243 XP. 250 credits. In the second matchup, we have Regime Cyborg, Regime Green Lantern, and Green Arrow. Cards gain a level of 2. Skip the matches, 5,000 credits. The Cyborg is knocked out. Green Lantern comes in next. And we're going to go off a Raid Slam and quickly get rid of him. Finally, we're going to have Bronze Catwoman against Green Arrow. And kicks him out in seven shots for the victory in the second fight. 246 XP. 270 credits. So we're going to switch our roster for the final ten fights. We're going to put in Cyborg. We're going to put in Cyborg. And we're going to put in Silver Catwoman. In the third matchup, we have Solomon Grundy, Catwoman, and Insurgency Lex Luthor. Cards gain a level of three. Skip the matches, 5,000 credits. The cyborg has his Injustice wifey Catwoman in the match, showing that racism is no object. As the fat, nasty Solomon Grundy hits us from the grave. Pussy juice spewing everywhere. So Lex Luthor comes in next. We're going to go up a Sonic Disruptor and soften him up. That is enough to knock him out. Catwoman comes in. And Cyborg is going to get clawed up before punching this bitch out for the victory in the third fight. Yes. 248 XP. 290 credits. In the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Dampening Field going up against Black Adam, Regime Nightwing, and Insurgency Harley Quinn. Cards gain a level of 4. Skip the matches. Still 5,000 credits. So Black Adam is about to get punched out in 4 shots. Nightwing comes in. And he only takes half damage from basic attacks. As you can see he's taking considerably more damage. Nightwing is knocked out. Harley Quinn comes in. She can hardly take any damage. We're going to go off a Sonic Disruptor and get rid of her for the victory in the fourth fight. Don't mess with the best. 250 XP. 310 credits. In the fifth matchup, we have Deathstroke, Regime Flash, and Regime Sinestro. Cards gain a level of five. Skip the match is now 10,000 credits. Jabbing away at Deathstroke, already under half life. And Deathstroke is knocked out. Sonic Disruptor on the flash should be enough to get rid of him if he doesn't block. Yes, it is. So Snaestro comes in, blocks that, whopping 14 damage, and punched out in five shots for the victory in the fifth fight. 253 XP, 330 credits. In the sixth matchup, we have Nightfall, Bane, Regime, Cyborg, and Catwoman. Gaining a level of six, skip the match is 10,000 credits. Catwoman having the least health, Cyborg having the most at 1,800. So six punches takes out Bane. Catwoman comes in next. And is knocked out in four punches. So Cyborg comes in. We're going to get off a Sonic Disruptor. And Cyborg does eliminate himself for the victory in the sixth fight. 255 XP. 
6,350 credits. In the seventh matchup, we have Regime Nightwing, Solomon Grundy, and Green Arrow. Cards gain a level of seven. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. And as you saw at the beginning of the challenge, Ares does not count as a silver card, unlike Killer Frost in the last page of battles. So Green Arrow comes in. And Green Arrow is knocked out. So we're going to go up a Sonic Disruptor on Solomon Grundy. Hits for 16-4-8. We stun him into us from the grave. And we're going to go off a Cat Claws and Solomon Grundy should be eliminated for the victory in the seventh fight. 257 XP. 370 credits. In the eighth matchup, we have Challenge Regeneration going up against Wonder Woman, Regime Bane, and Insurgency Harley Quinn. Cards gain a level of eight, and we're going to have to make a second roster change. I'm going to try and find some easier cards to use. I'm going to put in Regime Doomsday. Green Arrow. We're going to put in Regime Nightwing. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. But standard difficulty of regeneration is really bad. A Doomsday does have the most life out of any card. Wipes out Wonder Woman. And now at one bar, we're going to go up a ultimate lift off on Bane. Hits for 34.67, enough to wipe him out. And Harley Quinn comes in. Two shots almost wipes her out. Four shots does knock her out for the victory in the eighth fight. 259 XP. 390 credits. In the ninth matchup, we have Regime Sinestro, Sheik Ahmed Habibi for the third time, and Regime Green Lantern. Cards gain a level of 9. Skip the match is now 15,000 credits. Begin. So Sinestro gets wiped out after about 7 or 8 hits. Sheik Ahmed Habibi comes in next. Bashing away at him. Five shots and knocks him out. And we're going to go off a ultimate liftoff. Unfortunately, tagged in too quickly, so that will not register. But now that he's positioned, we're going to go off another ultimate liftoff. And Green Lantern is eliminated for the victory in the ninth fight. 262 XP. 410 credits. In the tenth matchup, we have Nightfall, Bane, Regime Flash, and Green Arrow. Gaining a level of 10, skip the match is 15,000 credits. So the cards have between 2,072 and 2,352 health. Very easy to deal with still, as two hits from Doomsday was over 1,000 damage. Rage Slam connects and barely touches Doomsday's bar. We do knock out Bane. The Flash comes in next, trying to get the upper hand on Doomsday. Lightning Kick does connect for about 600. We're at about two and a half bars with Doomsday. Hero Slayer in again. And we're going to go off our first mass destruction, and Green Arrow is eliminated. Thirteen thousand and one damage for the victory in the tap fight. Two hundred and sixty-four XP. Four hundred and thirty credits. In the 11th matchup, we have Sheik Ahmed Habibi for the fourth time. The Joker and Catwoman. Cards gain a level to 11. Skip the match is still 15,000 credits. Begin. The Black Adam is at one bar. And Black Adam is knocked out. Catwoman comes in next. Catwoman knocked out in four shots, so we're going to have a Supernova on the Joker. Does wipe him out for 9,360 damage for the victory in the 11th fight. 266 XP, 450 credits. In the 12th matchup, we have Challenge Chaos going up against Insurgency Lex Luthor, Wonder Woman, and Deathstroke. 
Cards gain a level at 12. Skip the match gets 15,000 credits. 25% health is in play, but that'll only put the cards at about 3,750 health. Doesn't really make a big difference when you have such a small amount of health. Insurgency Lex Luthor is about to go down. Green Arrow finishes them off. Wonder Woman comes in next. This is on that combo there. Shield Toss blocked for 431 as Wonder Woman did have one block. Nightwing comes in next. Now we're going to go have a Power Drain on Wonder Woman. It's for about 970. Green Arrow comes back in. Destro comes in. So we're going to go off a Hurricane Ball on Destro. Hits for about 4,000. Is enough to wipe him out. Shield Toss for 340. 11 reflected back. And we're going to go off a Power Drain on Wonder Woman. Blocks that for about 500. Not enough to get rid of her. But we melee her down for the victory in the 12th fight. 269 XP. 470 credits. So the Red Sun Green Lantern Challenge Battle 3 on standard difficulty is completed. If you like this video, please give it a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, edit as a favorite, check out my other Injustice Gods Among Us videos, my playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Shono. And the fourth battle is up next. Have a wonderful day, kids. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Shono. Subscribe, bitches!